Now, we have once again, to please welcome to the stage, uh, Jolie Magnifique. But everybody calls me Jolie, and in French that means pretty. Well, I like that. <laughs> but uh, my husband, his name's Lesko, and everybody calls him V Lamp. And if you don't know what that means, you could see him, you'd know why. It means ugly! Ah. So we're Jolie and V Lamp, we're pretty ugly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, poor Otter was in the dressing room a while ago, and she was looking at us, and she said, oh, you know, I sure wish I had bigger boobs. I said, honey, I can help you. All you got to do is get you a little bit of that toilet paper, and you just wad that up, and you pass that between your boobs. Do that two, three, four times a day. Do that every day. She said, are you sure it's going to work? I said, I'm not sure. I've been rubbing toilet paper between the crack of my ass for over 40 years. Of look how big this is. <laughs> And I will tell you, you know, my poor mom has to work extra hard. And ladies, I know that every girl has probably done this exercise when we were little. I must, I must, I must increase my bus. Come on, girls, you know it. I must, I must increase my bus. You must have done that chair a few too many times. Well, you know, so I. I need to cheer my bra on, you know, so it goes something like this, it goes something like for 
30 years. He got fired. He came home and told me. I know, huh? <laughs> so I said, well, what happened? He said, well, you know, all these years, the pickles have been gone by me on the conveyor belt going to the pickle slicer. And all these years, I've been a little curious what it would be like if I put my pickle in the pickle oh. slicer. Oh, no. And today, the curiosity got the best on me, did it. I said, no, are you cut? You bleeding? You all right? He said, no, I'm not cut. I'm all right. I said, oh, okay. Oh, well, what happened to the pickle slicer? So she got fired, too. Yeah. <laughs> give a whole different kind of wedding advice to their Cajun daughters than Cajun dads do. A Cajun's dad says, does she want children, son? Oh, yeah, daddy, she wants children. But is she a good cook? Yeah, daddy, she's a good cook. Did you take a good look at her mama? I said, no, why would I look at her mama? Because in 30 years, that's what she's going to look like. I <laughs> said, <laughs> Cajun moms tell girls there's three animals you gotta get. First one you gotta get's a jackass. If you don't get the jackass, you're not gonna get the other two. Then you get a mink, then you get a jaguar. You wear the mink, you drive the jaguar, you make the jackass go to work to pay for it. Yeah. 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 That's, That's right. <laughs> and you know, me and Belan's been married a while. And when I got married, I trained that man like quick like. I said, now you see, I got a box underneath that bed, and I don't want you looking in that box. He said, all right. All the years, he didn't look in the box. I caught him looking at it. He said, Julia, I don't understand why you don't want me to see that. All you got in there, six eggs and a thousand dollars. That's not bad. But I don't understand, what's the eggs for? I said, well, every time me and you have the sex and you're not too good, I put an egg in the box. He said, yes! Twenty years we married, she only put six eggs in the box, I'm better than I thought was. Oh, wait a minute, what's the thousand dollars for? I said, Nick, we are. Ran out of room for all the eggs I've been putting in there. I sold them, that's the money I got. <laughs> oh, yeah. And we have five children. Now, the first time I got pregnant, I was pregnant with triplets. And he said he wanted to name them. He named them Adolf, Randolph, and Rudolph. I said, that's nice. So then, I got pregnant again with twins. I said, now you name the triplets, I'm naming the twins. Now we got Adolf, Randolph, Rudolph, Get Off, and Stay Off. <laughs> so he figured out I didn't want no more of the bed, you know? So he went to Dr. Cormier, and Dr. Cormier said, well, you know you're the perfect or what, something new, it's called a Cajun vasectomy. All you gotta do is get a can, put a cherry bomb in a can, like the fuse, put it up to here and count to 10. He said, well, I could do that. So he come home and he got him a can, and he put the cherry bomb in the can, and he liked the fuse, and he held it up to his ear, and he commenced a counting. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Remember about me, you know? Well, um, make that too. <laughs> Thank you.